Hey everyone, welcome back to JSA TV here live at DCD Virginia. I'm Candace Sipos, your host today from JSA, and we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations in the digital infrastructure industry as we always do. So I am very pleased to be joined by Stephen LaFail from uh, uh, TicoGen, TicoGen, VP of Business Development. Thanks for joining us again. Awesome. Glad to be back. Thanks for having me again. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll just start off strong. We actually haven't talked much on JSA TV this morning yet about natural gas. So that's a good first uh, question. Differentiate us a little bit. So what are the overall advantages, would you say, of using natural gas and the cool in cooling strategy in general for data centers? Yeah. So the single biggest advantage, I think, is you know significantly increasing your IT capacity at a given site, right? So the industry has a big PUE problem. Mm -hmm. And I think when we hear people talk about PUE, they're often talking about annualized average PUE because those numbers can be pretty low and impressive and people are doing a lot of great things from an efficiency standpoint. But the one thing they haven't really been able to solve for is the peak PUE, mm -hmm. right? So the, the industry average peak PUE is still around 1.5. So if we think about what that means is if you have 100 megawatts coming into your site, you're only going to get 66 megawatts of IT capacity out of that site. And Frankly, that's abysmal, right? Mm -hmm. So of those 34 megawatts that you can't use for IT, most of that is going to power electric cooling equipment. Um, and it's gonna use most of that power on the hottest day of the year, right? It's kind of the dirty little secret about electric chillers is that they use twice as much power on design day than they do normally. Mm -hmm. So you're really solving for this hockey stick curve. And what you end up with is a bunch of stranded IT capacity in your chiller plant. Right. So what TicoGen can help you do is leverage natural gas, another energy source in your chillers, so that, for example, when it gets really hot out, you can automatically shift to natural gas and not use electricity. And now you're talking about instead of allocating 30 megawatts to cooling, maybe you're only allocating 15 megawatts to cooling. So now your peak PUE is instead of 1.5, it's 1 1.2. And that 15 extra megawatts of IT capacity is worth $30 million a year in extra revenue for a data center. Wow. Well, that's an incredible way to prove the point that you're trying to make. So great, great number um, to have in your back pocket there. That's awesome. So, okay. And how would you say that TicoGen's dual power source chillers are enhancing operational flexibility, resiliency, some of the big keywords that we hear that we need a lot of right now, right? Um, during grid outages in particular. Yeah. So from an operational flexibility standpoint, we're the only chiller that gives you that ability to use two different energy sources in your cooling. So you don't necessarily have to use natural gas all the time. You can use it strategically, like we talked about, to reduce your peak PUE. Um, it also helps you engage in um, energy cost arbitrage, mm -hmm. right? So as electric rates continue to increase, and they generally get very expensive during peak times in the summer when not just data centers need the cooling, but every grid user is you know, running their air conditioning systems. Right. You're seeing punitive time of use charges come into play. So that's also happens to be the time when the natural gas uh, system has the most extra capacity on our entire grid, right? It's also the time when natural gas is the most cost effective, right? Natural gas tends to go up in price in the winter because of the heating needs in the country. So it gives you that flexibility on, on utility costs. From a resiliency standpoint, you can back up our chiller with a diesel generator just like you can with an electric chiller. But we also have an integrated natural gas backup, which no other chiller has two sources of backup, right? So that's that, that really sets us apart. Amazing. Okay, incredible. Well, thank you for that. Um, and one last uh, question for you while you're in the hot seat here. What is your typical ROI period for your natural gas chillers and data centers? Yeah, great question. So we're looking at probably a simple payback of one year, maybe a year and a half at most. Um, so it's really fast. Yeah. And that's just simply because you know, for every megawatt that we can free up, that's worth $2 million a year in revenue. So that pays back our premium over a traditional status quo chilling really quickly. Yeah. I mean, the average lease rate right now is 150 to $180 per kilowatt month. So that's worth a lot of money for data centers. <clears throat> Excuse me. It doesn't take that long to pay that back. Yeah. Um, the other way to look at it is people are looking at on-site power generation. The problem with on-site power generation as a way to solve this problem is it's very expensive. You're talking $3,000 to $4,000 per kilowatt total install cost. The incremental cost of our chillers is about, I would say, a quarter to a third of that for the same amount of power unlocked for a data center. Um, so it's much more, you know, capital friendly, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. Well, incredible. Um, and so if people want to learn more, they can check out your website. Right? Absolutely. And uh, find you here at DCD Virginia if they're watching this live or on LinkedIn. 
Um, and uh, incredible to learn about some of the really um, amazing technology that you know is on the market right now, um, including yours uh, from TicoGen, to solve these challenges that everybody's talking about in the industry. So thank you for awesome. being here with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And thank you to our viewers for hanging out with us for another live interview here at DCD Virginia. Happy networking, everyone. We'll see you soon for another interview.